Hey guys, so this is the Nerf Rivals Atlas. Now, this is a rather disappointing review. And I know this already because not only did I watch Drac's video, but I was there for Drac's video. Because Drac might be from Georgia, but Ohio still loves him. You'll have to ignore the AC in the background, but it is rather hot in Ohio. Now, the Atlas has a jam door that functionally does nothing. You still can't reach the jam even if you have the jam door open. That is the first fatal flaw. Second fatal flaw is that. Sometimes balls will just pop out. But this pump action blaster feeds like so. That's grass, not a crack. Uh, the power with this blaster is left wanting. That was like a 30 foot shot. A little bit of an angle. The furthest ball got about 60. 50-ish, 40, 40, this blaster is just not living up to the hype, and I miscounted. Now, that being said, single balls do just a little bit better, but not by much. The air delivery system in this blaster is just in desperate need of a major overhaul. That ball didn't even break 50 feet. So, this blaster is overall rather disappointing. It is not not worth picking up. If this was priced at like 15 bucks, I would think, yeah, why not? But overall, the Rivals line has not been living up to the price nor the expectations of the community. That being said, this blaster does look really cool. It looks like a futuristic space shotgun. I just wish that it performed like a futuristic space shotgun. So that's been my review of the Rival Atlas. Thanks for watching, guys.